Yeah, y'all boys got to hang in there, man. Because uh, one thing I can promise you is the change going to come. You know what I mean? As long as you hang in there, you keep grinding because that's the key. All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Wanna slice, got to roll the dice. That's why all my life, I've been grinding all my life. Look, all my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Wanna slice, got to roll the dice. That's why all my life, I've been grinding all my life. Look, I'm married to this gang, that's who I made my wife. Said I die alone, I told that bitch she probably right. One thing that's for sure, As I look for the key to my Gotta save this full of Franklin's And a shoulder full of strikes A.K.A. Storage Don't know a A.K.A. Nigga like myself. Warehouse A.K.A. 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 Stencil number Because it's shoot Every time A.K.A. 47 But listen Change gon' come Change gon' come You boys gotta stay grinding You gotta stay hungry up against the wall, and, uh, yeah. one of the main keys is just here, focus, focus, you gotta know what you, um, what you striving for, I know what I was striving for, when I was grinding to become something, and eventually uh, I said, you know what, I can't sell dope on my kid in addition to that fact I went legit yeah, that's another part that's another part of my life that I'm uh, talk to y'all about because uh, it's only fair that you know me right you know my channel man yeah, so you gotta know me you gotta know my you gotta know my my, uh, my walk where I came from and um, I'm gonna definitely, uh, I'm gonna definitely give y'all some insight about your boy because it ain't always been whistling bitch. You. you know what I'm saying? That's for sure. It's always been an easy journey. But, uh, through consistency, through persistence, through, believe it or not, pure imagination, you know, pure imagination, just imagine it. You ever sat back and just imagine how things would be if you had more money, you know, or if you just had uh, a little more insight? You ever thought about that? Well, think about it. You have more money. Just for those of you out there that uh, they got a family, y'all know what more money would uh, would do for you. Of course, it'll give you a better life. That don't say. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> don't even worry about it. But um, yeah. There's some keynotes. Want you guys to take notes on what I'm saying because this is real. Um, consistency, persistence, imagination, eagerness, desire. Hard work. Dedication. And, and, and let me talk about hard work. What I mean by hard work, okay. Welding is not hard. It's, it's, it's not a hard... It's not hard, okay. You know, that, that's not hard. It, what it is, is, is consistency. You got to train your mind, okay, to do what you wanted to do, right? That's right. So, getting that hand-eye coordination, consistency. You gotta train. You gotta stay on it. <clears throat> you gotta stay on it. You gotta stay hungry. 
you got to keep your eyes on the goal. The goal is to become a welder, right? That's right. So you got to stay on it. Now, in the beginning, it's going to seem like it's just not going to happen. Uh, I mean, I'm going to just tell you. I'm going to let you know straight out. It's going to seem like it's just not going to happen. Especially if you never struck an arc, you have uh, no sense of anything. Maybe you're just starting off. Maybe you just, you just, you just, just, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You just, not even, not even into it, into it, <laughs> you, you know, you just started off as an imagination. Maybe you just clicked on the channel and said, you know what? This guy looked like he may know something about a little something and you just tune it in. So I'm here to tell you, um, it, it, it takes consistency um practice just to dig a little bit into what I mean by consistency I mean practice you gotta you gotta you gotta get your hours by, behind the hood you know I mean? you gotta get your hours behind the hood uh, that's how you're gonna learn this metal that's how you're gonna learn the process of welding um, other than that it's really no shortcut it's, it's, it's really not a shortcut because in this day and time um the way the field is, okay. The way it is out right now, out there in the field, I'm gonna be honest. Pipe fitting is a dying breed. It's a dying breed, man. Y'all better, y'all better enjoy. These senior pipe fitters, these cats that's old, enjoy them while they are around. Because in the next 10 years, I'm going to do like that. <laughs> like my man did off of the sports. Uh, what, what's that a sports analysis cat? Uh, the, big, the, the big, heavy, muscle-bound black guy. When he did like, you ain't got a damn chance. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Um... So, like I said, it's important that you welders. I don't care if you structure, pipe, doesn't matter. You guys gotta, um, you guys gotta, gotta buckle down. If you're already in the field, listen. Work on your health, okay? Work on your body. Work on your strength. If you, if you're overweight, slim down. I'm, I'm telling you some things that's gonna help you. And for the veterans out there, you know, of course, y'all already know. Y'all already know what it is. You know, when it's time to do that weld and you get picked to do that weld and you, you know, your belly stick out farther than, you know, you know, I ain't got to say much on that <laughs> because we're not here to harp on nobody or talk about anybody, but I'm here to bring awareness to you. Okay. And, and, and it's just real talk. It's real talk. I mean, however you look at it or, 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 you know, you want to pass judgment on it. It's all good. I mean, it's no problem. You know, but the point is this right here. It's the truth, okay? You guys got to, gotta, you know, get in shape, get your body right. Again, if you new coming to the field and you might not be in, in the shape that you want to be, get in the shape you want to be. Discipline, discipline. That is one of the main keys. You got to have that discipline, okay? You got to have that discipline, especially if you want to be in this field. Because you gotta, you gotta devote the time. That time, it, it, it's, it's gonna involve you, and in how much discipline you have. So, um, yeah, that discipline, and uh, meet those goals. I know it seems like I'm jumping all over the place, but I'm kind of pressed with time. Actually, 7:26 right now. I got somewhere to be, so I'm over here picking up a few welding hoods for a few of the students that's over there and. Uh, in a local college, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, again, yeah, the welding hoods. Welding hoods. Yeah. If you guys don't want to spend a lot of money on welding hoods, visit the web store. Give you a great welding hood to begin with, to start with. And, um, yeah. So, uh, I'll tell you what. Y'all stay tuned for part two of this because we're going to get deep, baby. Deep. <laughs> we're gonna get into it because it's a lot for it's a lot 
a lot of things that I want to talk about that uh, that you guys may have questions on, you know, as far as whatever you think. I'm going to touch on it all, okay? So y'all stay tuned. So let me get back to what I was doing. And um, www.christanr.com. Check out the motivational channel. You got different guys speaking different information, letting you know how it is in the field, encouraging you. Okay, check out the um, game lobby. It's just things on the website for you guys to do in your spare time. You know, just to, just to you just stay around welding and and, and and be upbeat. Okay, and then you got, of course, you got the uh, uh, the welding tutorials, different techniques, different skills. Just, 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 just tips and tricks on how to really get it done. Because again, I've been in the field, and if you don't know, some of you guys do know me. I mean, I'm just a regular guy, of course, just a regular guy. But uh, of course, but uh, yeah, I've been in the field since. Uh, I know I don't look that old. Don't let the boy's face fool you. <laughs> but uh, I've been in the field since um, 2003. 2003. Oh, I started off 60, 10, 70, 18. I got to the point where I could do it with both hands. I mean, <laughs> both hands. And um, eventually I jumped to uh, TIG welding. TIG welding came easy to me um, by way of my older brother showing me a paycheck stub because what I was doing, um, before I learned how to TIG, I was... Uh, I was uh, doing commercial, a lot of commercial work, building hospitals, running a cold and hot water return, and and, and again it was a lot of 16, 17, 18, um, and that was my thing. I didn't know anything about TIG, you know. I was really getting it. And those of you out there, y'all know, in the commercial field, you get it. You be getting it. You know what I'm saying? Tight spots, they don't even matter. That's 6010, boy. You work that magic, right? And uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, then I jumped to TIG, and. Uh, the rest is history. So, again, y'all catch me on the flip side. Again, I got some hoods and things of that nature to um, to grab. And you know what? I got leathers also. I got some leathers right here. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, that's that's official, dude. That's official. Yeah, you get the apron also. The apron it connects to the bottom. Of course, this is premium leather, and then it's gonna have the Chris Tanner patch on it. Of course, this one don't, but hell, it's uh, it's definitely that premium leather right there. That real deal. That's the real deal, Holy Field. But uh, yeah. But anyway, again. I love hanging out with you guys. Of course, you already know. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go now. Peace out. Last time that I checked, it was five chains on my neck. It was no smut on my rep. Last time that I checked. I was selling zones in the set Make a quarter meal, no sweat Last time that I checked I'm the streets voice out west Legendary self-made progress Last time that I checked First you get the money, the respect And the power in the hoes come next Last time that I checked I've been self-made from the dribble I was been saying I'ma kill him Nah Playing no games with you niggas Pop clutch, switch lanes on you niggas Nah I laid down the game for you niggas Taught you how to charge more than what they paid for you niggas on the whole thing for you niggas, reinvest, double up, then explain for you niggas, it gotta be love. Run the city, it gotta be cuz. It's for the pieces I took off the Monopoly board. Hey, y'all niggas, false claims, it gotta be fraud. Just keep the hood about your mouth and you gotta be charged. I doubled up, tripled up, nigga, what? Banged on the whole game, I ain't give a fuck. Nobody tripping, had no business, got my digits up. And when I drop, you know I'm about to fuck Last the city time up. I check, check. It was five chains on my neck. It was no smut on my rep last time that I checked I was selling zones in the set Make a quarter meal, no sweat last time that I checked 
I'm the streets voice out west. Legendary self made progress. Last time that I checked. First you get the money, the respect, and the power in the hoes come next. Last time that I checked. Come through fly. Check. No cosign. I ain't need radio to do mine. I done fine, and I take my time. Check. And take my tribe. Every level that I crossed in this game, like state lines, it was visionary. Either I'm genius or you niggas scary. Maybe it's both in this balance. I deliver daily for every nigga in these streets trying to feed the babies. The single mama's working hard not to miss a payment. And dirty money get washed on royalty statements. Black owners in this game are powerful races. Young niggas in the set just doing it makeshift out the garage. That's how you end up in charge. That's how you end up in penthouses. End up in cars. That's how you start off a curb server. End up a boss. That's how you win the whole thing and lift up a cigar with sweat dripping down your face. Cause the mission was Last time that I checked, check, check. it was five chains on my neck. It was no smut on my rep last time that I checked. I was selling zones in the set. Make a quarter mil, no sweat last time that I checked. I'm the streets voice out west. Legendary self made progress last time that I checked. First you get the money, the respect, then the power in the hoes come next. Last time that I checked. I got the front and in the back. We on the way and that's a fact. This real, this ain't rap. Why everybody wanna act pro black? The last lie you heard, this ain't that. This that, I did. Made it out the gutter shit. Nip told you fuck the middle man. I told you fuck a bitch. Fuck wearing they clothes, I wear my own shit. Y'all can own y'all label, I own my own bitch. Hey, nigga, I remember all that game you thought me. Don't fuck around and get played by the label owners. Talk that shit to these niggas, Adrian Broner. But secure the window, don't let the game fold you. Cause when it's game over, it's when the game over And all they do is play the game till it's game over And you be giving game like a big brother mission Never let them take it from us Last time that no. I checked, it was five chains on my neck It was no smut on my rep, last time that I checked I was selling zones in the set, make a quarter mil, no sweat Last time that I checked I'm the streets voice out west, legendary self made progress. Last time that I checked, first you get the money, the respect, and the power in the hoes come next. Last time that I checked.